Good morning, Mount Pleasant Elementary School students. Today, we are gonna be using lines, straight lines and curved lines to create a spider web. We're gonna be reading a book called I'm Trying to Love Spiders. Raise your hand if you love spiders. But drawing a spider web is really cool. So we're gonna learn how to do that. If you want to take this project to another level, you can add paint at the end, but all we're really doing today is practicing using lines to draw a web. So let's get started. If you need a helper sheet or a guideline, there will be one on your canvas page. All right, the materials you're gonna need is a pencil, a black crayon or a Sharpie and a white sheet of paper. You're also gonna need some heart to put in your art. Go ahead and hit that pause button and gather your materials. Directions, always the same. Pick up your pencil and write your name because no name, no fame. Then go ahead and flip your paper like a pancake. going to be doing some diagonal lines from each corner of our paper. You're going to do one from the left to the right and one from the right to the left, creating a big X on your paper. Then we're going to divide those up going from side to side, a horizontal line and a vertical line going across our paper. So we've made kind of like a really big star across our paper. Now we're going to use curved lines to connect those sections of lines. They look like triangles. So we're going to use curved lines connecting to one another to go around in a radial kind of design. We call this radial symmetry. It's the same all the way around. Connecting our curved lines to each other um, going from side to side of each triangle that we've made with our straight lines. So we're going to do this all the way around and then we're going to do two more layers of this. Make sure your curved lines are connecting to one another to create your really cool optical illusion web. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing going all the way around. And if you notice, I'm turning my paper as I work to kind of help me with those curved lines. They're like a smiley face line, just going all the way around connecting to one another. I'm gonna go ahead and do this a third time too, creating a really nice big spider web, making sure that I'm connecting my lines as I move my paper in a radial fashion. All right, very good. If you don't have a Sharpie marker, you can use a black marker or a crayon, but we're gonna go ahead and start outlining our web now that we've drawn it in pencil. I always like to draw in pencil first because if I make a mistake, I can easily erase it. Now I'm just gonna make this a little bit more permanent and bold by outlining it. I'm just, I'm doing each line individually because I want my spider web to actually look like a web and I don't want it to be like too perfectly straight. And then I'm just gonna go over all my lines. I'm gonna work my way up. I'm gonna speed this part up, but you're welcome to pause the video if I'm going too fast. All right, now that I have outlined, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my spider. I'm just gonna make him hanging from the web by drawing a little, so the curly line, and then I'm gonna use a circle for his body. I'm gonna use my Sharpie to outline this. If you don't wanna use a pencil, you can use your black crayon, or you can use your Sharpie to do the same thing. The one thing I learned from the book is that spiders have eight eyes and eight legs. So I'm going to draw mine having eight legs and eight eyes. And you can do the same. That's a lot of eyes to fit on a spider, but I'm going to try to do it the best that I can. And you can draw your eyes however you would like to. Wow, look at all these eyes. <laughs> now I'm going to draw um, curved lines and I'm going to add little tiny hairs because I also learned from the story that they have little individual in very, very microscopic hairs that they can cling on to things and that's how they, they climb up walls and things. So I'm going to draw those as well. Remember eight and eight. You could 
could be done. You could just leave your spider web like that. That's really all I wanted to, you to learn to do is to use lines to draw a web. But if you want to make this more like, you know, we, for the week, um, kind of Halloween-y, you can add some Halloween colors if you'd like. If you don't celebrate Halloween and you want to do this a rainbow web, that would be super cool too. I think that any kind of web would be with color would be cool. I'm going to use watercolor paints to add color. You could use crayons. You could use markers. You could even use um, like acrylic paints if you wanted to. I think this would be a really cool project to do on a canvas and you could keep and maybe hang in your house around this season of fall and Halloween, but you can make your web however you want. Again, you do not have to add color this week if you don't want to, but if you want to take this lesson a step farther, you can go ahead and, and fill in those sections with a little bit of color. I'm going to be using oranges and some purples and some grays to make it a little bit more spooky. All right, friends, I'm gonna call you my homies. As you are finishing up this work at home, I would love to see what you're creating by adding a photo of it or a quick video on Canvas so I can see your beautiful spiderweb creation. I hope that you had fun with this project and I hope that you have a great week and happy Halloween.